Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I realized that I've kind of skipped on the intros in my previous vlogs and kind of just went straight into the vlog. You're still working on the house next door, so you can hear that in the background sometimes, I think. But uh, it's great to see you again for another week. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Annabelle. I'll just like screen share my Instagram here as well. But I'm a 26 year old. I'm originally from Amsterdam from the Netherlands and I'm kind of living in between the Netherlands and the United States in DC, Washington DC right now. I'm actually going back to Washington DC in two weeks and I'm super excited about that. In this vlog, I will also film our trip to Austria because we're gonna go skiing for a week, which I'm so excited about. And I'll take you guys along with me, of course. We're leaving, today's Thursday and we're leaving on Sunday uh, and we'll be there for a week, so from like Sunday to Sunday. So that's gonna be super exciting to take you guys with me for that. And then yeah, two days after we come back from Austria, I'm already flying back to the United States. So if you go back to watch like my first vlogs of the Cozy series, so kind of when I started vlogging again, which was in November last year, that's when I kind of started picking up YouTube. You'll see that my first vlogs are kind of like in DC and like me actually moving from Washington DC to Virginia kind of still DC but it's like a town like 20 minutes outside of the city but yeah you can watch my earlier vlogs to kind of see my life in the United States in DC and I'm gonna pick it up again kind of my life in the United States starting February 20th when I go back to the United States um, I'm sort of doing on and off long distance with my boyfriend so I haven't seen him now in almost two months so I'm so excited to hug him again cuddle him again and like see him again and to see our apartment again that we just moved into so I'm super excited to go home also realized that I don't say this enough but please follow me on Instagram subscribe here like my videos if you do like them I'm trying to grow this community and I just really really love making YouTube videos and I don't know and love like the YouTube community as well so I'm super excited to hopefully have you join our little community if you're new so today is Thursday February 8th and we're doing a little bit of artsy work <laughs> It's not honest work. I mean, it's not great work, but it's honest work. I'm trying to repaint a picture that we took in Rio de Janeiro of this guy like surfing, but it's harder than it looks. But my sister got this amazing paint set. Like the colors are beautiful. And she's recreating this house right now. It's going pretty well, I have to say. It's really cozy. It's like raining outside. We put some music on and we're painting, which is very calming. Also, I started the Crescent City series of Sarah J Maas before I went to Rio so now I'm continuing in the first book so the house of earth and blood I'm about this far page 120 or so and it's getting really really good uh, but yeah today's pretty slow just reading painting watching some YouTube pretty chill I have to say because it's also really gross weather outside uh, but yeah let's get started with the week and I'm just gonna continue painting over here <laughs> I'm not good by any means, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so that's all that matters. Today is Friday, February 9th, and I'm about to head to Amsterdam in about an hour. But I'm packing right now for our ski trip because we're going this Sunday, so in two days. Um, and I'm gonna spend the night in the city in Amsterdam, so I'm probably gonna have to pack Saturday evening. But I already checked out the priority of packing, which was books. Whenever we go skiing and whenever we go on a ski holiday, of course, during the day, all you do is ski, but the lifts usually close around four. Some areas they close at five. And after that, we usually read almost the entire like afternoon slash evening, uh, which is like the best 
feeling for me like that's why i think it's my favorite holiday because you work out the entire day you ski the entire day you move your body you feel good about you know basically doing a workout the entire day and because of that you enjoy the food so much more or at least i enjoy the food so much more on the mountain because i feel like i deserved it which i don't know i know that's not maybe the most healthy relationship with food but i don't know but <laughs> it just feels really good to work out all day do something active sit on the mountain and then in one of those beautiful you know like wooden cabins chalets like on top of the mountain and have the most delicious austrian slash german food so you're gonna see a lot of that next week as well but everything we do once the lifts are closed and we're back in our like apartment or hotel wherever we are staying that week we read we read we cook dinner, we eat dinner, and we read again. When Santi, my boyfriend, is on holiday with us, we do, me and him usually do go to like a sauna or like a pool some of those days just because he loves that very much and it's like really nice and it's a nice thing to do together as a couple as well. So whenever he's on holiday with us, like this key holiday, I do read a little less that's okay but now <laughs> I'm very sad about the fact that he's not coming it's not bad but I am very excited about the fact that I'm gonna be able to read a lot because my sister is a big reader as well my mom actually is too my dad is a little bit but he has like his own <laughs> like shows and YouTube people that he watches including me it's very cute uh, but yeah I'm just gonna I just wanted to show you the books that I'm taking on the ski trip and all of these books come from my sister's personal library she can almost officially call her book closets or like book collection a library because apparently when you have like more than a thousand books you officially have a library and she has like around 700 plus books already which is crazy so she can almost call herself a library but yeah let me just quickly go through the books that i brought with me i'm not showing you the cover so it's a little bit of a surprise how cute okay so first off basically my sister has these protection covers for her books that's how you know somebody really really <laughs> loves to read and collect the first book that i'm bringing oops, oops the first book that i'm bringing is heartless i already read the first book and this is the second book in the series i think it's like a five or six book series and the second one it's about kind of a small town cowboy rodeo love story between like all these I think it's like it's like a standalone series so it's about all these different characters kind of like in magnolia parks where you have all these different characters that have their own story and it's like um a range of books and every book kind of follows a different couple or different characters so this is it's the same with this series but it's like an urban cowboy series <laughs> these are very much romance books as well so i'm really excited to dive into this one this is my sister's favorite book of the series so that makes me very excited as well i would love to hear your favorite book and in this specific series as well if you've read it then another romance book i brought with me is this one it's by ellie hazelwood and it's love theoretically i've read one of her other books which was the love hypothesis which was going crazy and viral i think because of tiktok mainly and i just really love her writing style and her storytelling and usually i remember falling like really falling in love with the characters and like their chemistry in the, in the other book love hypothesis and this is another great one of hers that i heard a lot of good things about so i'm excited about this one so those are both romance books then i brought a mystery book as well if you see my video on instagram where i did like a recap of my 10 favorite books that i read in 2023 in the video i included another book of lucy foley that i really loved which was the paris apartment I don't know why but just like the fact that it was set in paris it it was like a really much very much like a binge book for me like i wanted to read the entire thing in one sitting and find out what happened and it's just the best thing to have that feeling when you're reading a book for me also to be honest like i love mysteries and thrillers in the summer and i read the paris apartment in the summer so i'm just gonna see how her book hits another one of her book hits in winter time Curious if that's going to influence my opinion as well. But yeah, this is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. And it's more like a mystery book. So we've got two romances and a mystery book so far. 
So the last three are, which is right now my favorite genre, as you may have noticed on YouTube if you've watched my earlier vlogs as well, is romance fantasy or fantasy romance. I just, I just fell in love with this genre because of reading master books, uh, the Akatar series, the Throne of Glass series. I'm reading Crescent City right now, which is actually another book that I'm bringing, the first book of Crescent City. But yeah. I don't know, I just fell in love with this genre. I think also, of course, fourth wing and everything has to do with that as well. So first fancy romance I'm bringing with me is Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm really excited about this. Um, also, this these are the stems that I was talking about before. These, that's my sister's book stem that I got for her for Christmas. So it says from the library of Pucksmith and it's just a really beautiful stem. I got it off Etsy. I'll put the link below here as well if you're into, I don't know, personalizing your books. But I'm really excited about this series. Then a book that I'm really excited about because I've heard a lot of great things. Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I'm just, I don't know, I've heard so many good things. It's like an urban fantasy romance. And it's also set in like, I think from what I'm understanding, it's set in the Second World War, but it's a war between gods. So I heard that the chemistry and the characters in this book are amazing. So I'm super excited to read this as well. And then last, but I hope not least, I don't know, my sister hasn't read this one yet either, is The Hurricane Wars. And I think this is also about like just two characters who have like a really impressive, insane amount of power. And I just love reading about like these exceptional, like powerful characters, especially if there's like a female lead and she's like kind of like a heroine, like, you know, like a super powerful, smart, intelligent, funny, sassy character. So I'm super excited to read this as well. These are all the books I'll be taking with me, including Crescent City, which is really big book as well. On the trip to go ski. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish all of them. We are bringing a Kindle with us as well. My sister has her own pile of books, of books as well that she's bringing. So we're definitely not gonna be bored. This is lately like my favorite activity and my new favorite hobby, I don't know. I'll put all the links in the bottom below as well as the link to the book stamp that I showed you of Etsy that I got my sister. All right, I'm gonna get ready to go to Amsterdam and I'll check in with you guys later tonight. Otherwise tomorrow, Bye. Just received a super cute package from Cezanne. How beautiful is this box that it came in? And then it's like this. It's just everything about this brand, Cezanne, is so beautiful. Thank you so much for sending this. I love the detailing of this, of course. This is like their classic, let me see. It's their classic Gillet Gaspar, like, cardigan. And I'm obsessed with this one. I have this one in like a beige color as well, but how cute is this red? And like the detailing is just really beautiful. Like the little buttons are kind of like pearl color. And then I got this kind of cropped, kind of like Chanel vibe cardigan that I think is amazing. It's so cute. And then I got this very classic black suit pants. Uh, but yeah, I know everything about this brand is just so well done. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Cezanne. I'm super happy with this. It's so, so cute. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Thank you. 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 See you on top of the mountain. Right now, we just got all our ski stuff and we're getting our ski passes now. And these are the lines. Look how busy it is to get up the mountain. It's crazy. These are my skis. And this is my sister's snowboard. <laughs> and look, I got a new helmet last year. And these are my ski shoes. But yeah, just waiting for my parents to come here. They're putting on their skis and their shoes. And then we're gonna get the ski passes.
sister got lost or like she took like a black slope instead of the blue <laughs> we were on um so she we're waiting for her right now she had to take like a different lift and come down a different slope to get to the restaurant that we're at right now we're here at this cute one it's called iceberg i think we're just gonna have some lunch and she will pop up here in a minute now i'll film her when she comes <laughs> Right now we're at 2,500 meters, I think. Almost 3,000 meters. switch my skis for a snowboard today so i'm doing three days skiing and three days snowboarding and i'm just so happy about the fact that i'm wearing these comfy shoes now it's like a world of difference so so excited to board today and the weather is looking beautiful got a lot of sun today i think which is great go chilling here right now and look at this beautiful view insane it's always so tricky like the first day again on the board i feel like in about an hour or so I should be okay catch up with you guys later <laughs>
found a parent. But we think they want a different way. We're on red and I think her mom took blue. So we'll have to go a different route and we'll have to go back up again probably and then take blue. <laughs> So we're having lunch right now and I just escaped to like this little, I don't know what it is, <laughs> like shed. There's like a snowmobile right over here. And then this is the view right now. I just went to someplace quiet because it's like really awkward to film in public, especially on the slopes or when you're having lunch, all you do is kind of like look around you, you watch people and it's like really fun. Uh, but because of that, whenever I take pictures or like film, it's a little bit awkward, but... Just took some pictures over there with that view. But yeah, the view, I mean, it's just beautiful all around. We just walk over here to show you the site. Look, like it's not even cold enough for this to freeze, but how beautiful. And we're sitting, wait, let me see if I can show you. All the people right there. And then the restaurant is like around the corner is the terrace and you have the view of the slopes. And it's just insanely beautiful. Today is our second to last day, so tomorrow is our last day. I switched to snowboarding after three days. So this is my second day of snowboarding and it's going really well today. Like yesterday I had a board that had like, it was broken at the top <laughs> and my shoes were actually, she gave me accidentally a size too big. And I don't know what's up with these specific shoes, but they're just really big for me. So I actually sized down two sizes. So right now I'm wearing size 37 inst instead of the 39 that she gave me and I'm normally 38. I don't know what's going on but these are perfect. So skiing today or like snowboarding today is going so much better because I have so much more control because my shoes fit because <laughs> yesterday I felt like I was swimming in my shoes so you don't have much control when that happens over your board um, so then turning becomes more wobbly and less stable. Uh, but yeah today's going really well. It's like what they call Kaiser weather so it's like beautiful blue skies. It's been like a few days since it last snowed so right now because the sun is so strong yesterday the sun was so strong too it's like down in the village it's like 11 or 12 degrees celsius uh, which is really warm like up here i think it's even like two degrees as well which is really warm for the time of year to be so high up and for it to still be that warm uh so the heat and the sun is like making the snow melt so by the end of the day because in the morning of course they prepped a piece and i think at night they prepped a piece but at the end of the day now it's such beautiful days it's like really hard to snowboard because it's all like mushy but yeah i'm gonna go back to my parents because i've been out here for a little while and I'll catch up with you guys later again. see shit <laughs> but it's really hard to navigate through this because you cannot see anything so this is as much as you can see like we're on top of a mountain but no idea where we're going and it's really sucky because the, the snow is really good and as you can see like there's barely been people like on here it still has the prep lines but you just cannot see so you cannot really enjoy the good snow 